Destructive, powerful, and lethal. These are the most appropriate terms to describe these 10 incredibly advanced and formidable military weapons of all time. These weapons are known to wreak havoc and possess deadly features including the number of potential targets per strike, relative effect, effective range, accuracy, reliability, and mobility. It is difficult or rather impossible to estimate just how many people have been killed or maimed by these weapons in the 20th and 21st centuries, and it is truly frightening to discuss some of these weapons. So buckle your seatbelts, because this video is going to be one hell of a ride. But before we proceed any further, do us a favor and smash the like and subscribe button. Now let's dive right into the video and talk about the top 10 deadliest weapons of all time. Number 10, AK-630M2. Talking about terror, efficiency, and strength, the AK-630M2 Duet has set a new standard for all military weapons. It is an example of radical upgrade of the AK-630 closed-in weapon system introduced by the Soviet Union in the 1970s. The new weapon system uses a more conventional unmanned turret with double six-barrel 30mm guns to achieve combined rate of fire of 10,000 rounds per minute. A new sophisticated fire control system allows fully automatic tracking and targeting against supersonic aircraft, rotary wing aircraft, cruise missiles, and a wide variety of unmanned aerial vehicles. Besides, the AK-630M2 gun system is able to destroy small ships such as fast attack crafts at short ranges. This property makes the weapon exceptionally effective at destroying anything that comes in its path. Number 9. TOS-1A Sont Sepik Have you heard about the terrifying new weapon that Russia could use to kill U.S. tanks? While many nations including the United States have ceased using flamethrowers, Russia has doubled down with its efforts to utilize fire on the modern battlefield. The TOS-1A Sont Sepik, a multi-barrel rocket launch system, offers direct fire support to complement main battle tanks and infantry fighting vehicles on the battlefield. The design of the TOS-1A MBRL system is based on the T-72 main battle tank. It retains the same design with the turret being replaced with the rocket launch facility. The hull of the vehicle is made of reinforced steel. The total weight of the launch vehicle is 46,500 kilograms. The rocket launcher has the capability to carry three personnel with the driver stationed in the middle and the commander and gunner accommodated within the two small turrets at the rear. The MBRL system offers low firing range compared to other multiple rocket launch systems. It, however, offers much versatility to the operators due to its thermobaric and multiple launch capabilities. Number 8. Cluster Munitions Next up in this list, we have the cluster munitions that have been a persistent problem for decades. The wide area effects of these weapons and the large numbers of submunitions that fail to explode as intended have caused large number of civilian casualties. Cluster munitions are weapons consisting of a container that opens in the air and scatters large numbers of explosive submunitions or bomblets over a wide area. Depending on the model, the number of submunitions can vary from several dozen to more than 600. Cluster munitions can be delivered by aircraft, artillery, and missiles. Although only a limited number of countries have actually used cluster munitions, many have these weapons in their stockpiles. If even a fraction of cluster munitions in current stocks are used or transferred to other countries or non-state armed groups, the consequences could far exceed those of anti-personnel mines. 34 countries are known to have produced over 210 different types of cluster munition. Undoubtedly, cluster munitions are one of the most dangerous inventions of all time. Number 7. MIRV Coming in at number 7 spot is MIRV an abbreviation of Multiple Independent Reentry Vehicle, any of several nuclear warheads carried at the front end or bus of a ballistic missile. Each MIRV allows separately targeted nuclear warheads to be sent on their independent ways after the main propulsion stages of the missile launch have shut down. The warheads can be released from the bus at different speeds and on different trajectories. MIRV technology was first developed by the United States. By the late 20th century, both the United States and the Soviet Union have many intercontinental and submarine launch ballistic missiles equipped with MIRVs. Some MIRV missiles can hit targets as far as 1,500 kilometers apart. Land-based MIRV missiles are considered particularly destabilizing. These missiles are a much more tempting target than traditional land-based missiles because an attacker can take out several of their enemy's warheads at once. 
Can you just imagine the amount of destruction caused by this gigantic military asset? Number 6. S-400 Triumph Next up in this list is the S-400 Triumph, which is an air defense missile system developed by Almaz Central Design Bureau of Russia. The new system replaced the S-300P and S-200 air defense systems of the Russian Army. The S-400 was developed as an upgrade of the S-300 series of surface-to-air missile systems. The system entered service in April 2007 and the first S-400 was deployed in combat in August 2007. The S-400 operates in the following way. Long-range surveillance radar tracks object and relays information to command vehicle for target assessment. After the target is identified, missile launch is ordered by the command vehicle. The launch vehicle which is placed at the best position gets the launch data and releases the missile. The missile is guided toward the target with the help of the engagement radar. And boom! The target is annihilated. Number 5. Bastion P The K-300P Bastion P, another example of Russian mobile coastal defense missile system. The main role of the Bastion P is to engage surface ships including carrier battle groups, convoys and landing craft. A typical battery is composed of 1-2 commands and control vehicles, one support vehicle, four launcher vehicles based on the MZKT 7930 8x8 chassis, each operated by a three-man crew and holding two missiles, and four loader vehicles. Launcher vehicles can be located up to 25 kilometers away from the C2 vehicles. Upon halting, missiles can be readied for firing within five minutes and both fired in two to five second intervals. The mobile launcher can remain on active standby for a period of 3 to 5 days or up to 30 days when accompanied by a combat duty support vehicle. The warhead weighs about 200 to 250 kilograms. It seems that this missile can carry nuclear or conventional warheads with ease. Number 4. Submarine Ohio Have you heard about the most fearsome US Navy weapon in the Pacific? If not, then this information will blow you away. It is the Submarine Ohio. Though it no longer carries nuclear missiles, the USS Ohio is nuclear-powered, as are all US Navy submarines. Known as a Nuclear-Powered Guided Missile Submarine, or SSGN, the Ohio is driven by a nuclear reactor providing steam for two turbines, which turn the sub's propeller. The Navy calls its range unlimited, with its ability to stay submerged constrained only by the need to replenish food supplies for its crew. The submarine's comparatively large size and power allow it to carry 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles, 50% more than U.S. guided missile destroyers pack and almost four times what the U.S. Navy's newest attack subs are armed with. Each Tomahawk can carry up to 1,000 pound high explosive warheads. Each submarine in the Ohio class has two full crews, ensuring that a fully trained crew is always on hand for every contingency, preventing any patrol tempo slowdown due to sickness or other human factors. Number 3. MLRS 9K5 Smirch Now we come to the top three weapons in our list. And number three is the Smirch M Artillery System, which is an improved derivative of the combat-proven Smirch Multiple Rocket Launcher System MLRS. It employs modified 9M55 rockets with a new propellant to extend its maximum range up to 90 kilometers. Even today, after more than 30 years of service, it remains one of the deadliest systems of this type. Currently, Russian Army operates just over 100 of these artillery rocket systems. It saw combat during both Russian wars in Chechnya. Recent, it saw combat in Ukraine and Syria. The Smirch has 12 tubes for 300mm artillery rockets. The standard rocket is 7.6mm long and weighs 800 kilograms. Originally, this multiple launch rocket system had a range of 70 kilometers. Though this range was extended on improved systems, the Smirch proved to be extremely effective against concentration of troops and armored vehicles, artillery, and air defense batteries, airfields, and other target areas. A full salvo of a single launcher covers an area of up to 67 hectares. Insane, right? Number 2. Archer Artillery System Clenching the second position is the Archer Artillery System, which is an international project aimed at developing a next-generation self-propelled gun system for Sweden and Norway. The heart of the system is a fully automated 155mm L-52 gun howitzer and an M-151 protector remote control weapon station. The crew and engine compartment is armored, and the cab is fitted with bullet and fragmentation-resistant windows. Aside from this, the system consists of an ammunition resupply vehicle, a support vehicle, 
and bonus submunitions, and M982 Excalibur guided projectiles. It is fully autonomous and can be used in traditional warfare fire support, as well as modern international peacekeeping and peace enforcement missions. Number 1. Ballistic Missile RS-28 Sarmat Finally at number 1 we have the RS-28 Sarmat, which is a liquid-fueled intercontinental ballistic missile. Designed to replace Russia's aging SS-18 Satan ICBM, the RS-28 Sarmat began development sometime in the 2000s. Russia completed its first prototype of the missile in late 2015. After several technical delays, the Sarmat missile is planned to enter service by the end of 2021. Talking about its specifications, the Sarmat is a three-stage liquid fuel missile with a range of 18,000 kilometers and a launch weight of 208.1 metric tons. The missile is 35.3 meters long and 3 meters in diameter and it can carry a 10-ton payload and can load a wide variety of warhead options. According to Russian media, Sarmat can reportedly load up to 10 large warheads, 16 smaller ones, a combination of warheads and countermeasures, or hypersonic boost glide vehicles. Judging by the official image released in 2016, the RS-28 has many design features of the R-36M and might be actually an evolution of the R-36M rather than a completely new design. The new missile uses upgraded electronics guidance systems, countermeasures, and reportedly has more warhead options. Most likely that the RS-28 Sarmat will use the same silos as the R-36M. These missile silos are located in dispersed locations across Russia. The silo launcher and command point are hardened against a nuclear explosion. This missile is certainly one to look out for, especially after seeing what it's capable of doing. Which of these 10 military weapons do you think is the most dangerous?